Hey guys, only the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review for the Year of the Dragon. So today we are doing what will have been the United Cigars Dragon Slayer. But now it's called Unnamed Cigar or Cigar with no name or whatever. It has no name, no band, nothing. Right? So we take a close look. This cigar is um, six by fifty-four. You were supposed to call, you know, Dragon Slayer, but there's no band, nothing. It's just uh, basically the cigar, right? Mexican Cerendris wrapper over Dominican binder and Dominican and Nicaraguan filler. Okay, and basically, it's a twelve-dollar cigar, right? And there's not much to show you guys because I didn't get the box. I just get a few sticks and. You know, part of the promise that we will do as many Year of the Dragon Cigar as possible for you guys. And this is one of those. And, I mean, you know, they want they want to name Dragon Slayer, but, you know, Gurkha has been suing people, so they took it off. All right. So. Is it still fair for Gurkha to claim Dragon? I still think that that's kind of dumb to be able to claim the word Dragon. But then the same thing, I think it's kind of down to be able to claim the word rat. Okay, so <clears throat> you're going to hear me like kind of clear my throat, cough a little bit. I just recovered from COVID. I just got back my my taste bud. Uh, uh, if you haven't listened to our podcast already, I like literally do my best to get back to review for you guys. And now today's the day. Okay, so. A little bit of woodsy, fermented smell. Damp wood. That typical San Andreas smell. Almost earthy. All right, here it goes. Hopefully, I don't get any problem anymore. Because um, I tried to record a, a review the other day, and I had to scrap that review because... Only thing I taste was bitter. Wow. This thing is earthy. It tastes like dirt for the cold draw. Like mushroom. Musty, earthy. <clears throat> All right. $12. Let's get started. United Cigar. All, all of them, everybody decided to make one. You know, seriously. We'd, we actually thought this only got to be four or five this year to, 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 to find and review for you guys. But it's got to be 10, 12, 15, 20. Okay. First of all, there's some woodsiness.
there is a little bit of leatheriness. A uh, little bit of like a sour coffee woodsiness to it. Toasted nut. A little bit of toasted nut in there somewhere. A little bit of mineral too. And I gotta say, there is one of those between coffee and chocolate. So there's a little bit of chocolate in here too, as well. There's a little bit of spice. Just a slight tingleness. There's just not a lot of crazy burn, but there is some burn. Okay, it's actually not that bad. I thought I thought it was gonna be bad because like no bad nothing, you know. It's like I was screwed up. We're not gonna change anything, so just. But so far, not too bad. So far, not too bad. Now there is a little bit of flat, almost cedary bitterness. And I can't tell if that's still my, my taste bud problem or not, but it's not a lot. There's so little of it that it doesn't bother me. So I'm going to say that's normal. Okay. So let me smoke one third and I'll be back. Thought I'd taste something, but no. Yeah. Let me uh, taste one third and then I'll be back. All right. One third. I have to say, it's actually not bad. It, all right, despite of my flavor profile, I haven't come back completely 100%. And I do taste a little bit of mineral that's not to my liking, just a little bit. It has a predominantly uh, a, a woodsy, nutty chocolate taste right at the retro hill. That's really pleasant. That's really pleasant. I, I, actually, I actually think this cigar is going to be okay. I'm enjoying this uh, sweet retro hell came from this cigar right now. Really sweet. And I'm enjoying this. It, it also almost have a little bit of floral to it. Despite of how that dry, uh, the, the cold dry was like, it was, like the cold dry was shit. <laughs> okay. But once you light it up and you start smoking it and do the retro hell, this is a really nice, pleasant cigar, surprisingly. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe I'm praising a cigar that has like everything stripped away. But yeah. First stir, very pleasant, sweet, nice, chocolate, toasted nuts, and uh, woodsiness and flor a little bit of floralness and an undertone of a mineral-ish taste to what I'm tasting. And now keep in mind that mineral might just be me. Uh, I gotta sneak. Never mind. Yeah, that mineral might just be me. So um you might not taste that. So everything else should be okay. Should be okay. Tastes really good. So yeah, going right into second third. We'll be right back. Oh my god, this is good. Smoke output not bad. Second third. Gets me a little bit of a licorice type of sweetness on top of uh, some woodsiness and floralness. Still has that. I want to call that mocha because it's like between coffee and chocolate, but it's more chocolate than coffee. I don't know why that every time the, uh, the, the, the ash just kind of blows up, no matter how many times I get it off, it still continues to blow up. Only the tip. So it's weird. <clears throat> but yeah, overall, it's it's a nice cigar. It's sweet. It's nice. The floor is not bad either. And it starts to have a little bit, just a tiny bit of, I want to say, leatheriness to it. But not a lot. Not a lot. The, the forefront of this flavor is very noticeable. Very, very noticeable. Very, very nice cigar <clears throat> for what, what it is. 
I like the um the amber in this thing. I don't know if you guys can see it. It it really keeps a nice amber. Like it, when I have a little bit of ash, that amber still burns. You can see like kind of glow. It's really nice. This cigar is somehow nicely done. Yeah, I can still see it. I, I'm not taking a puff. You can see that. And you see the the amber in there. It's really nice. It just caps in there. Right? Nicely burned. I don't know. Maybe whatever they use in there is very nice put together and it just had that draw, continuous draw to the cigar. And oily. And smoke output is nice. The draw is nice. I didn't have to put out a tree. Everything's good. So yeah. Laster. Let's finish this up. I'm going to really enjoy this. I'm going to finish this up. And let's give it a value. Let's give it a value. Surprisingly. You know what? Just because they, you know, United has ill planned this. They knew there was a cigar once upon a time called Dragon Slayer. They shouldn't have went with that. Right? They should have avoided that to start with and come up with a different name. Um, like, I don't know, Dragon Warrior, Dragon Fighter, dra something. Right? Why do you have to pick a name that's already been there? Do your research, man. Do your research. Just for that, taking off... Uh, uh, I'm going to take a, like a dollar off that no ban issue. Right? And it will go from there. Be right back. All right, so we are done. So last third, kind of expected the flavor dipped down a little bit, um, and and because of that, I think I taste a little bit more of the floral note. And from the floral note, sometimes not all the time, I could taste a little bit of uh, like a cologne kind of taste. Um, yeah, I, it's hard to describe. It tastes like a cologne, and and, and that was a slightly unpleasant. But everything else was good. You know, I continued to smoke it. There was no issue. Um, yeah, draw is good. Flavor is pretty good. Can't really complain about that. So I think they priced it close enough to what I expect. But for the price, I am going to give between $9.50 to $10.50. All right, and that's with the deduction of having no bands and no research and all that stuff for them to screw this up. Okay, if there's a band and decoration and stuff like that, I think you could possibly be between eleven fifty to twelve fifty, and that which which will be where they're charging, right? But right now, because that's missing, you gotta take some down, and and that last third wasn't the best. Okay. So yeah, is is this still a cigar I can recommend? Yeah, I can recommend. If you're you you if also you're in the path of trying to smoke all the year of the dragon, this is one that I would say wouldn't disappoint. It's, it's, so far, I think the one that disappointed me the most is actually Davidoff Year of the Dragon. Uh all the other one, I think they price reasonably, they taste pretty good. This is one of those. Had they do it correctly, band decoration and everything. Name it correctly. I think it will sell well. But because it didn't know that, you can't, you can't tell. It just looks like a bun, um, bundle stick. You can't tell. So I think that's where they screwed up. And they should have take a few dollars off of that for, for that. But they obviously they didn't, right? Because obviously they had to scrap all the band and whatever thing that they planned. And that's a loss. But it is what it is. I can definitely recommend this. I think it's a good cigar. So go give it a try. Uh, again, it's called uh, cigar with no name, unnamed cigar. However you want to call it, I call it Dragon Slayer. I don't, I don't care because that's the name they originally want to give it. Even if you take it away, that's what we know it as. So I, I don't see, I don't see the anything. I don't see the 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 big deal for Gurkha to bully people other than the, the cigar names. I think it's kind of dumb to to say, oh, I want to own the name Dragon, or I own the name Rats, or whatever. I, I think it's stupid. Right. Okay. So that will be it for the cigar review. I hope you guys enjoy it. It is my first cigar review since I come back from COVID. So um, um, I hope that's correct. My taste bot is giving a correct representation of what the cigar is. But we'll find out. Maybe as I smoke something else, I go, hey, you know what? There is something different. Um, 
I just not sure what what it is yet. And I think what is no, most noticeable is that I can taste mineral a lot, little bit more, and that mineral mineral has a little bit of bitterness that I taste a little bit more. But that could also be this cigar. So I wasn't sure if that part of it is me tasting it or the cigar itself is like that. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, okay? So that will be it for this review. I hope you guys like it. If you like it, like, subscribe, share your thoughts, comment, um, join our membership for early access. We have a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, we are actually doing the uh, uh, Dominican trip in, I don't know, by the time you watch this, probably in a week or so. And all that videos start coming out members only so make sure you join the membership and if you want to rock our swag swag is right under uh the description and make sure to listen to our podcast i'll see you guys next time bye guys